Guys, today we're in Animal Kingdom. And Animal Kingdom looks busy. <laughs> and look at this. I've actually not seen this before, but this obviously must be for the new Ice Age movie, Ice Age Scrat Tales. Anyway, guys, if you've not seen me before, my name is Danny Dalamore. And if you like this type of content, make sure you smash that like button. If you haven't clicked subscribe already, hit that subscribe button. And this is the bit where I always want to cry. Honestly, every time I see that tree of life, the, honestly, my eyes start to water, my stomach, just I just feel so warm. It, and it's not just from the sun. <laughs> honestly, just everything, man, everything. And you know what? I've finally found it. Bambi's here. Honestly, I have been looking for this 50th ornament for ages. I don't know what else you would call it, but I've been looking for this one for a while. And there it is. It's right here at the entrance. How have I missed it so many times? Now, we're just pausing on the budget part of the series for a little bit because Ben gets access to Das, which is, I put at the bottom of the screen which what it stands for. Now basically DAS is a disability access system or something like that, which basically gives people that can't wait in regular lines access to the ride. It's new, it's a new experience to me. I didn't even know he was entitled to it until we were told. So basically DAS isn't a fast pass system at all, because I know a lot of people think online that it's like a fast pass system. It isn't. How it works basically is you still have to wait the regular time. So for example, we've actually just booked a flight of passage and you have to basically wait for the whole duration of the Right, so currently it's at 110 minute wait. You still have to wait 110 minutes, but once that 110 minutes has passed, then you're able to go onto that ride and access the fast pass line. So you've still got to wait the 110 minutes like just everyone else has. But then after you've done that, then you can then go back on the, the app and then book another ride um, and still have to wait the regular line. Does that make sense? It's honestly, this is all new to me. I've just came across this. But what I'll do is, as the vlog goes on, I'll explain more about DAS because I know there's a lot of people who, um, well, for example, like I'm learning as we're going here, so it's new to me. So I hope this makes sense and yeah, welcome back. Right, so anyway, our first stop is Pandora. Right, we're in Satuli Canteen and I've got the shrimp and noodles. Can you see them? Can you see them? <laughs> and Ben got the steak and noodles. Oh, is it chicken and, no chicken and noodles? And beef. Oh, did you get two? That's why it cost Joseph. All oh, right, and mine cost a total of 16.50 and I got water. So, see ya. And then you get like the side sauce as well, which is really, really nice. And basically, we just thought, obviously we've got to wait a little bit for Eight of Passage. So I thought this was a really good opportunity. Basically, grab a little bit of food, chill, get out the sun. It's another very, very hot day in Animal Kingdom. It doesn't feel as busy as what it did in Universal in last vlog. And it also doesn't feel as busy as what it did maybe like in Animal, uh, Magic Kingdom, sorry, in Hollywood. But obviously it is Animal Kingdom. You usually find Animal Kingdom will usually be the quietest park on certain days. So it's nice. And let's, uh, let's give this food a taste test. Now, I've got this quite a bit. It usually is really nice. Awesome as always. In regards to today, we don't really have any plans. We're gonna have some food. We're obviously gonna try and do as many rides as we can. We've still got another three days left before we go home. So we're kind of in, the, we're kind of in that situation of we'll do what we can. However, we do have a reservation later in Tiffin's. I'm really, really excited for. Obviously, we'll show you guys the menu. And um, I think I've said to Ben, we don't need to do starters. We'll just do main course. There's no need to do starters. And maybe we could even share a starter if we want a starter. That's a good way of maybe trying to save a little bit of money. But we'll see how we go. On. Right, so it's now time to go on Avatar Flight of Passage. Okay, well, that was a bit of a disaster. <laughs> right, so, I, right, I don't understand, right, so Disney gave us access to the system. I booked it this morning, and for some reason, it just hasn't, it just didn't update. So, bless the gentleman, he, he like, did something on the system, and then basically overrid it and allowed us to ride. But he had said, oh, have you know, used it before? And I said, no, we've not used it before. He said, what you need to do, and this is for any of you guys that use this system, he said, once you've booked it, always take a screenshot, because sometimes, the system will do like a glitch. Like I say, I, I, it's new to me, so yeah, you live and learn. Experience yeah, we go, guys. We are ready. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. I love this ride. Ah! Oh my god. Isn't it amazing on the legs? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh wow! Oh, I'm gonna cry. 
fly. It sets me off every time. Oh. Oh. Flight of passage every single time. Just get you. It's everything was working as well today so sometimes you go on it and sometimes the water effects aren't working or sometimes like the wind might not be as strong everything worked and <laughs> just honestly Ben loved it would you say it's one of your favorite rides yeah yeah Ben says one of his favorite rides amazing absolutely amazing <laughs> Do you know this is the first time I've ever noticed this, but we're literally just over the road here from Dino Bite. And just over the road from Dino Bite, there's a crocodile. I literally, honestly, Ben noticed it first. I literally, I've never seen this before. It's crazy, it's massive. It's just a moment interruption just before we go to the safari. Honestly, for a long time, I've been wanting one of these bags, but every time I look at one, I'm like, I don't know. So we're actually gonna do a test. Do we to be honest? No. Do we not? No. Right, well. If Mary and Nico want to send us a free bag out. So anyway, the next ride is Gorilla Falls. Now, Gorilla Falls is like a walkthrough zoo, so it's a bit like it's a bit like Kilimanjaro Safaris, but it's like a walkthrough version, and it's awesome. So this is kind of the map of what you will see in the park. There's actually quite a lot yet, to be honest. If you want to see, just pause the video. And what I absolutely adore about this is you really feel like you're in like a jungle. Honestly, if you want to like experience, like, well, obviously at the moment there's no one here. Obviously, if it's a busy day, you're going to have a lot of people here. And this is always the best bit. Are you ready? Hippo. How awesome. Sometimes he usually comes in the water and he'll swim around and you'll usually get a really good shot of him. If he's come at the right time, he'll usually swim around. I'm just saying him, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but oh, it's awesome. We're actually at the gorilla section now. And oh, look, they're just getting in from the shades. Gorilla Falls, tick, done, complete. I said to Ben, I, th I thought there was lines in that section, but it's yeah, not. There's phone, different right? sections of it, I remember. Sometimes when you go from this place and then you come back, everything just kind of like blends into one. But yeah, I've remembered it's like a different part, so we may do that later. But we're now going to be heading on Kilimanjaro Safari. <laughs> in the pride right now. Kinsey and Dakari. Mm, oh my god, that was so good. It's always nice being on there, honestly. Right, Tiffins. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, we're actually sitting in the same place as where I sat last time as well. This is awesome. So he has the menu for Tiffins. So if you want to see the menu at any point, just pause the video. So I know you're probably thinking, ooh, what have you ordered? Right, so we're in Tiffins. Tiffins is a little bit more on the pricier side, like of, of all the places. But you know what? It was like I'd said earlier in the series, it's always good, like me and Ben ate at IHOP yesterday. We ate, we shared starters on other days. So we thought, well, do you know what? We're gonna go a little bit out on this one. Ben's went for tacos and the butter chicken, and I've went for the bread service and the butter chicken. Bread service has arrived, and look at it, guys. It looks absolutely amazing. We've got all the sauces. We've got all the bread, yeah. Love this place. Let's have a dip. Amazing. For drinks as well, we're actually not having Diet Cokes. Not even just to save money, but just for hydration. We're just having water. Just a quick one as well. Today has been a lot easier. Firstly, the weather hasn't been as intense. The weather has been, I don't know, it's just felt a lot nicer. It's not been, it, like the sun's not just been beating down on us. But secondly, the big thing, it's been probably the first day that Ben's been able to actually in, I wouldn't say enjoy the trip because he's obviously loved being here. It's more on my part, I didn't research it, but I'm so glad that we were able to access the system. 
like I say again, with the DAS system, it's not a fast pass. And I think that's what the misconception of it, it's like a fast pass. You go down the express line, but only after you've you've waited for that duration of time. So for example, me and Ben have just came into Tiffin's and I've just ordered Navi River Journey and we've been given a time for 10 past five. Uh, no, sorry, five, because it's a bit later, um, to go on it. So we're still actually waiting that 80 minutes, the same time as what the ride's on. We're just, we're just not having to stand in the line. Chicken has arrived. Now, honestly, Tiffin's do the best chicken. Look at that. Let's see if it focuses. Can you see it? Look at that. And then you put a little bit of the dip on. Honestly. I would honestly say, nicest chicken ever. It's the most juiciest, nicest chicken. Honestly, it's so good. And Ben approves as well. Ben's really enjoyed his. There's also like this nice like potato top thing. I don't know what it is. It's it's got oh yeah, it's got rice in it. Yeah, it's rice. It's like rice and yeah, rice. And it's so good. It is just literally the nicest food. And then also here you have the purple cauliflower. Right, we're out at Tiffin's. I literally feel pregnant again. Why do I keep eating all this food? And this is it, Navi River journey. Here we go. It's a lovely ride, this is so relaxing. Wow. So relaxing. It's really nice to get in from the sun and just have the nice aircon. Every time I see this robot, it really just, it scares me of how real and the movements and just everything, it's just unbelievable. Right, change of plan, change of plan. Right, so me and Ben, we're planning on leaving, we're planning on doing the Navi River journey and then we're planning on leaving, but do you know what? We're both having probably the best day we've had so far and it's nice to see Ben relaxing and chilling and also it's nice that the weather's not too hot and we're both just loving Animal Kingdom. So we're staying, <laughs> it's, it's crazy right? So I've actually not said this yet so far on the vlog but we're actually staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge tonight. So just while we're having my drinks we're actually going to do the jungle trek because Ben really wants to do it and to be honest I love this so. Something for me Then he kept walking on down the road And I watched him this Right, so the next ride guys is Carly River Rapids Yeah, don't ask me why on earth we are going on this You literally get absolutely soaked <laughs> Yeah, I just, uh, I may regret this in a sec Are we going to regret this? I'm sitting at the end. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to regret this. We better get this up. Oh, we've got some water here. Oh my god. Ooh. I think we're going to be alright. Oh my god, we have a draw. Hang on. No, no, not this way. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, bless her. Bless me. Are you alright? Oh. I don't know. If this camera's still working, I don't know how. I really don't know how. It was brilliant, though. It was really good. Well worth doing. You don't, honestly, you get. If you've been on Popeye, it's nothing like that. It's it's about half the length, and you don't get really that wet. Well, I've got a poncho on. Ben's a lot wetter than me. In fact, actually, Ben's soaked. We were very unlucky if where we were. We sat in the worst seat, so that's why this has happened. Right, we're now outside the park, and me and Ben have just got the Golden Savannah from Joffrey's. It's not very golden, no. Right, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's nice, and it's not at the same time. 
it's like when you put it in your mouth and it goes like and it goes in it's all right it's like the aftertaste that's bad it's just like i don't know like hang on let's try it again it's got like a no it doesn't it's it's got a taste but i don't know what the taste is it's like you know when you said avocado it's got like a bit of an avocado taste Oh, and I need another one. Do you know when you have avocado on egg? It's got a bit of an eggy taste. Oh. If you like eggs and avocado, then this is the drink for you. Right, bus time. And do you know what? Sometimes it's usually a bad idea to get a bus at this time from Disney, because you can find the buses can be so, so busy. Let's see how we get on. And do you know what? Perfect timing. We've actually made it for the bus. Honestly, the best thing about when you're at Animal Kingdom, if you're staying at Kidani, the bus journey is two minutes. It is unbelievable. Honestly, it's so quick, especially if you're Kidani and not Jambo. Anyway, we've got our room number and I'm excited. We've got a Savannah view tonight, which is just, I love, I love this hotel. Right, so this is the room. Here we go, guys. Oh my God, I can see the Savannah already. Oh my god oh my god i can't believe it i actually can't believe we're here you know honestly every time oh my god there's like animals running down there as well oh my god look can you see them oh my right it's time for a room tour right so as you come into the room on the left you've got a sink kitchenette we actually have contacted housekeeping just because the light's not working at the moment but uh, hopefully they'll come and fix it but yeah that's your like kitchenette microwave toaster um, coffees, we all love Joffrey's. Then in here we have a sink, we have bathtub just behind this curtain there, and then in here we have the toilet. So we've got the TV with resort TV on, we've got a double bed, and then we've got phone, and then we've got a sofa, and I've also picked some of these up for my Patreon members. You've got more seat in here where you can have your breakfast and just chill. And then just out here, obviously, you've got the savannah, which I showed you before. And honestly, this is always my go-to resort. This is the reason why I became a DVC member. And just a quick one as well, I just posted on Instagram that we had checked into here, and so many of you guys have like messaged me on Instagram just saying like will I do a Q&A for DVC let me know if you want that try not to talk about DVC too much because I know it's very polarizing DVC some people love it some people don't love it and that's the thing it's kind of like I'll, I'll happily do a video on it but let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that right so we're actually gonna head downstairs now because we've actually got a reservation for Sonar bless housekeeping have just had to come up because we had we found like dust like on the on the counter services and the light wasn't working but even worse guys there was a bloody mosquito in the room and it was like that big and it was huge went downstairs and just said now when we first came in the mosquito was on the right and when we showed you so you might have noticed when we when the vlog started like I came in seeing I was doing a room tour and then the room tour stopped and then we're on the balcony that's because before you seen that clip me and Ben spent a couple of minutes trying to get this mosquito out of the room and it actually wouldn't leave it just wouldn't go so we rang downstairs and they said don't worry about it it would have been it would have got in before we got in but anyway the mosquito is still here it's actually hiding somewhere in the room and the housekeeper's just said I'm actually gonna get pest control to come Ben just went to the toilet I'm gonna get pest control to come up and see if we if he can get rid of it because it's a really big mosquito um, and she just apologized and she said before we came and it shouldn't have been in here but bless him the staff are so busy I hate complaining I really don't like putting people out that way but I can't sleep in this room with a mosquito. But anyway, Ben, have you had your poo? Right, let's cool down to Sonar. Oh, it's very loud, yeah. I'll freaking I've room this video. Yeah, room a video, but let's go down to Sonar. So this is even got just a little bit better. We're sitting down in Sonar and I know say like I know it's dark outside, so I know you're probably gonna be watching this go while it's dark. But we do have the savannah at the back of us. Imagine this sunlight. <laughs> imagine I click my fingers. Imagine me editing was that good that I can create the sunlight. Anyway, imagine there's like giraffes out there, zebras, 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 maybe some water buffaloes. Is there water buffaloes out there? A buffaloes. What's the difference between a buffalo and a water buffalo? Is it the same thing? No, none of the animals live in water. Oh my god, Ben, you're just as bad as me. So this is the menu, guys, as well. If you want to pause at any point, just let me know. <laughs> you don't need to let us know. <laughs> I've just said if they want to pause at any point, just let us know. Guys, honestly, it's been a long day. Apologies. <laughs> it's honestly just been one of them days. All me and Ben have done all day is just laugh. It's honestly been 
the one of the well I would actually say it's one of the best days I've ever had in Florida and honestly I'm not joking I don't even know why I think it's just like a mixture of like Animal Kingdom has just been awesome today because <laughs> Ben's here um, no honestly it's just been unbelievable it really really has and it's Mother's Day as well and I don't know it, it's been a bit of a weird day for me because it would have been nice for like obviously to see my mum but then again do you know when I booked this trip, I didn't realise it was Mother's Day and it's... Yeah, Ben didn't even know I reminded Ben it was Mother's Day. So it's just kind of like, I don't know, it's one of them things, it's... You know when you're not with your family, like Con, Con at home was with his entire family. All my family had a big get together and I wasn't there. And I just felt a bit guilty for about five minutes. Now I'm joking, I felt guilty for over. <laughs> yeah, I felt guilty when I was waiting for Flight of Passage. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. It's not even funny. It's actually really bad. Anyway, we're having a lovely day. <laughs> so me and Ben are talking about something really funny, and you might not find it funny, but let us know. So Ben has just said he's just witnessed someone lick their spoon, and I was saying one of the things that Con hates me doing, and let me know if any is are lickers of cutlery. <laughs> that sounds really bad. Right? Are you ready for this? So you know, like when you're eating and like there's a bit of food on the end of your knife, do you like lick it? And she <laughs> Ben's laughing his head off because Con hates it. But like, if you've got a bit of food at the end of your day, I've just got, you guys are watching this going, what on earth have I switched on on my evening? <laughs> but literally, if there's a bit of food on, so Ben says, so would you lick, would you lick the fork? Or would you not lick it? How would you get the food off? So Ben says he does this. Ben, hold the camera for a second. Oh, my phone. <laughs> so Ben literally says he does this. No, not like that. So what do you do? Right, so we'll watch Ben do it because Wait, hang on. Uh, yeah, I don't get this at all. I don't know how I hold it. So if there's food down, I literally just go... Thanks. Oh, that's horrible! I get it on that's side. awful! Right, so guys, vote on this. Are you more of a... How do you do it? How do you... What are we talking about? What are we talking about tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Walt Disney World Vlog Series. Oh, bread service has arrived, and yes, me and Ben have got one each. Don't judge. <laughs> My God, look at it all. Yeah, we might have went a bit OTT on this. Good morning, guys, from Animal Kingdom Lodge. Oh, the Savannah view honestly just never gets old, you know. Literally, I've sat here for hours and hours just looking out. Just honestly, it just never gets old. I think I've honestly woke up in just the best mood. Yesterday was just magical. Now, usually I would end this video in like a long, <laughs> drawn out ending, but you know what? I'm just gonna keep this ending really short and sweet. Firstly, let's talk about the DAS pass that Ben gets. It didn't work as well as I thought it would um, at first because basically we just had an issue trying to use it but as throughout the day it got better and better and, and it was um, and, we, and we were able to use it. As I mentioned earlier in the video we weren't even sure that Ben would be entitled to it and it was when we were at Universal someone had said oh you are entitled to the pass at Universal so we used that at Universal um, but it doesn't work the same at Universal. I think towards the end of the series, I might like recap between Universal and Disney for the passes um, if you require them. I don't really know what the requirements are. All I'm aware is, of, is that Ben um, is entitled to it with Disney and Universal. So, so yeah, but I'm going to be honest, I don't really know the whole system. But overall, it really helped. It really helped with Ben's needs yesterday. And, and that's obviously what it's designed for. So overall, I would give it a thumbs up. It worked. Nextly, Animal Kingdom. Awesome. Loved it. One of my best days. Ben's favourite park or one of Ben's favourite parks and it was just an amazing day. We met a lot of amazing people. Cast members were awesome, public were awesome. It was just an awesome day, and I'm so excited because me and Ben have decided we're actually gonna do the Explorers thing, and um, which I'll explain later on in the series that you guys will see, which I'm really, really mega excited for. It's just something different, like usually we'll go to a park and we'll do like Disney on a budget, or we'll do Disney on this, or Disney on that. And we're gonna just to see how well we get on, like just doing the Explorers thing. I think it's a little bit different, a little bit cool. Or maybe it's really uncool. I don't know, you let me know in the comments. But anyway guys thank you so much youtube is telling me this should be the next video you click on thank you so much guys let me know how you're doing in the comments before you go next week we are heading to epcot and i hope to see you there thank you guys enjoy your evening or enjoy your day or whatever you're up to and just thank you again for just being the best friends and supporting my videos i really appreciate it bye guys see you soon enjoy your evenings bye